Okay, so this uh, gonna be yeah, gonna be talking about nail bomb. And nail bomb is a simple way to talk to say a simple group that say one album and one concert and then it was created uh, yeah, it was created for Sabatura's album C D. It was created by Alex of Channel and Max of Sepultura and now in Softline have a conspiracy and nail bomb uh, sorry KB. So yeah, so nail bomb is uh, I think it was correctly like one eight oh, eight eighty three from there it was crazy yeah. But this album is a super uh, it's combination with like industrial uh, music and punk punk music and heavy metal music. It's very thin, special music, very very different from any, very 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 different from any other bands. Uh, they are very very special in that sense. Yeah, and the album is extremely political. So they talk about, for example, like police brutality, uh, ra- racism, and uh, like, for example, one song, for example, is called. Uh, uh, religious cancer is a song about the religious people that spend lots of money uh, to look good. To, uh, that they spend like they, uh, they are, how can I say it? It's almost like there are people that think if you have money and you spend that money on uh, religious buildings, you can do everything you want after that, and you're still gonna come like. If you believe in this kind of thing, you're gonna come to heaven or other places. But they originally are not the good people. They are just have lots of money. That example from for religious people, uh, and uh, you know, for religious, no, but it's about people that spend lots of money. I think money is the way to come to God. Is the song about religious cancer? Uh, the other song is. Uh, called uh, 24 hour of bullshit and that song is about yeah <laughs> uh, about reality tv shows uh, like uh, how to be how to dress how to like you almost uh, yeah it's about when yes yeah, about how much money you have uh, how, like everything that is surrounded about money is the thing that will make you more powerful and that is the yeah the song 24 hour is about this kind of thing yeah but reality and uh, yeah to all this kind of it's very much like you segregate kind of things in this kind of sense uh, the other the other song for uh, uh, yeah it's extremely much for politics and the other song is obviously about uh, for example, uh, the song Zero Tolerance is about you have you have zero tolerance for people that are racist, uh, and there's a song about oh yeah, it's about yeah, it's it's like right on the course of racism is the zero tolerance, and then you have that song the nail one has is really good, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, so it's all the rounds, it's one of the songs. Uh, the other one is uh, yeah, about neighbor. So yeah, so they have, uh, for example, if you see uh, them live, they have different members for, uh, for different songs. I think they, they have uh, the song from Biohazard. In that they have other different members. Yeah, so they are very, like, almost like a, yeah, it's very, it's very like a kind of special thing with this band. It's very special. And they have very, like, a very, uh, and very, very, no, they have very, a very naughty sound, very dirty sound. The sound is not so clean. With nail bombs, it sounds very, very raw, and um, yeah, this kind of thing is very. It's almost like yeah, it's almost like you have a very similarity in some sense with uh, 
So the people that are going to get tears so much after this afternoon. So, yeah, Snowball is a band uh, that Max created. Yeah, so Snowball is a band that Max created. The Max created. Uh, I don't know. That's like a side project. Yeah, it was a side project. Uh, so he took the, I think, a short break from Sepultura and with that time, with Nailbomb. And yes, we got taken from France. And because of, because of these two people, like all the other ones, are uh, from famous bands, uh, so they were invited in some sense. Yeah, they were invited to play on Dynamo. I did say yes to that, and then go play Dynamo. Uh, and they create a nice name, but I think they have a very different name for to think about before Nail Bomb, before, uh, before that. Uh, so they have a very. So, first name was Six Man, uh, Project Hate, and then start to name the band Nail Bomb. Yeah, there was a super group that was never meant to be a super group. It's a bit of a super group. Uh, yeah, it's not hard to understand why they are turned to a super group because they are extremely good, good musicians together. And they, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, like a, a big, uh, some kind of a dream uh, album to do with many musicians. To do everything you want, to sing everything you want to sing about, and play the instrument how you want to play them. And like many music, many musicians uh, today cannot do this kind of thing because it's very, it's, it's, it's like, can I say, in a way, it's like almost like very, very hard in some sense to do music like Neil Bob. Because the, 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 the sound is so dirty, the, the filthy sound, and they have, and it's almost like you have to be very good to do this kind of sound to make this, this kind of dirty sound from the instruments look, sound good. And this, yeah, it's, uh, it's a very, very cool band. It's a very cool song. It's, it um, has so many different drummers. Uh, I don't know if they have the same drummer in when they record the album or they're gonna, if they have different drummers when they record the album. But when you see them live, uh, then they have different drummers if, if for each different song or two different songs. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's lots of different people. Uh, this song with this, this song, yeah, the album is the dream of four kids. And um, one well, of my favorite song is absolutely the name of is Blind and Lost. It's one I really really like. I like World, World of Kids, the other one uh, for fuck's sake. It's a very good song. Uh, and, oh I thought we would we will yeah, we it's called we will destroy world when you see it. And yeah, the world of the story world when you sleep. That song is a very, uh, very, very good song. Because the song starts with that. I think Max uh, calls his calls his friend on the mobile phone, and his friend, I think, I think his friend is from New York uh, or Boston, Boston, New York. And they called him with a, like the, with a kind of a special sound, like a, a rusty sound, like a, like, oh, yeah, like a, almost like a very creepy sound. When they called him on the telephone, and the, in the end, they get, this person gets more and more angry. For he, he always asks, "Who who is calling me? Who is calling me?" And then after the third, four times, then the song starts with a very heavy explosion and the, very very powerful. Guitar and I think, I think the song is called We, we Will Destroy You When You Sleep. I think that's the name of the song. Um, I'm not I'm not 100% sure if that is the song or not. It is, sorry, the name of the song. Uh, yeah, if that is the name, uh, I think this name is called that. Uh, and obviously the 
the other one is obviously Zero Tolerance. I really like it. I think I like all the songs. Uh, really good. Uh, it's called Police Proc. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, the other song is, is really, really good. It's called uh, Police Proc. Uh, yeah, and obviously you, you heard this, you know, you know from the name that it's, yeah, it's a somewhat, yeah, it's a charity. Yeah, so I think, so this, the album was created around the same time of, oh, how much I right now? The album was created at the same time around the time when the KKK was a very, very powerful group. So this, the whole album, especially, uh, especially, especially anti this kind of group, anti KKK. And I think the, song, the reason why the song is called Police Rock is because of the movie. Yeah, the movie and burn, the burning. Uh, so, yeah, and there was a lot of the police in the south of America was a member of the KKK. So there's a reason why it's called uh, Police Truck. The song. Um, the so- I think if, I, if someone asks me what maybe it's the most offensive song, from, then if you're going to get angry, so it's probably the song uh, <laughs> uh, Religious Cancer. Uh, that is maybe the. But I think it's not. People have to understand it's not against religion because. Obviously, Marxists really they have believe in. So it's not against people that are religious, but it's against people that are like spend lots of money for religion. Uh, and think if you ha- if you have like a golden church, or you have lots of money, you can do everything you want to other people, and still you are uh, praised as a good person. I think that is some more the song is about, about criticizing to protect to protect yourself. With some kind of uh, like a false I- identity of religious, uh, this kind of thing, and um, yeah. So, uh, if I if you not have heard Nail Bomb, I strongly, I strongly recommend this album. I really, really do. The, the album is called Nail, uh, Commercial Suicide. This album is called. Uh, it's a uh, Fantastic album, uh, yeah, and and now uh, obviously many many years later now Max plays with the other supergroup that is is totally different from Nail Bomb. It's called Killer Be Killed, and they are they have released two albums, one in 2014 and now and in 2020. Uh, so this. And it's, it's extremely different from Nail Bomb. It's n- nothing like Nail Bomb. It's like, yeah, it's it's so it's so different. Uh, it's it's much more futuristic uh, and much more like like if Nail Bomb is politi- political, it's political music. Uh, Killer Be Killed is like past all of that. It's like a new dimension. Uh, is like uh, is yeah a new dimension and they have uh, uh, like for example I think the best album they have done is the second album the newest one Relected Hero and they have very good song there in their album they have for example my favorite song is Left of Century uh, 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 Dream Dream Gone Bad. And uh, come before come uh, come before the, in the storm. It was a very very good song. And uh, filthy vagabond. And my uh, uh, song? Missing I think missing limbs. Uh, it's very it's it's a it's written it's created about uh, Max, Great Cruciado, the Ling Escape Plan, and Troy of Mastodon. And this is two. There is a reason why I think that Max is so a, a very very cool uh, musician because he can do so many different things, like all the way from like Sepultura to uh, Nail Bomb, 
to uh, uh, sort of fly to cover a conspiracy, to kill or be killed. But all of them are different. All of them uh, sounds different. They have different way to play. For example, with uh, he, in Sofly, he always invite different guest musicians, vocalists and instrumentals from different genre of music, all the way from R&B, folk music, uh, rap, deathcore, and so many, or uh, raggy music, like uh, Benji from before from Dub War, and now from, he's playing Skin Dread. Uh, so it's, it's very, very special for this very, yeah, it's, I think it's, I think, uh, me, Maybe I think maybe the most diverse band in the in, in the world, the most diverse. I don't. Uh, it's probably uh, Sofly, probably the most diverse band, because of all his guests and because of all his uh, how, he, how willing he is to to play music with uh, musicians that have nothing to do with metal. For example, um, in the album Prophecy, I think uh, it says yeah. For example, the song Wings, uh, when he mixed like metal with R&B, and the other one before that he played like I think Soulfly. Oh, God. he always have like the album called so the song called Soulfly One, Soulfly Three, uh, Soulfly Seven, and that song is always instrumental. Instrumental. And they always have different instruments uh, in that uh, different albums with different, yeah, with different instruments. Uh, and it's more other mess bands can have this kind of thing, can have so many different instruments for each album, all the way from horn flutes, from cellos, from uh, clocks. Uh, it's very, very special. And then when you have soft light, you have a very, you almost have a heavy, kind of heavy spiritual vibe. Then you go to cover a conspiracy, it's just extremely heavy. And then you have a uh, kill be kill. That is like, a, a, it's hard to describe to kill, but it's like a combination of, oh, how can I say that? It's not combination, like, it's combination of like, no, um, it's, it's almost like you have, yeah, it's extremely hard to say. Yeah, it's a combination, like for, if I have to say this, it's a combination of like, uh, Mastodon, the Lingo Escape Plan. I, th I think it's more a combination with uh, different uh, different musicians put together to make Kill Be Killed. I think, because if you listen to Mastodon, if you listen to Sofa, if you listen to the Lingo Escape Plan, you will hear a totally different sound. It's, it's the sound totally different. But when you put them together, these three, sorry, the four, these four guys, uh, I always forget the name of the drummer. When the drummer is play on All Pitch Must Die, Ma uh, toy, Mouse Toy Man. Uh, if you play, put them all together, you you will get killed be killed. Because that, that is killed be killed. If all these members together can create killed be killed. If they put, go, go aside, they are, they are, then they are Mastodon, the Link Escape Plan, and Soulfly, or Color Conspiracy, or other, like the Thomas uh, band. So, yeah, there's two different uh, super groups. One was one album, that was Nail Bomb, and the other one is a new band, it's Kill Be Killed. And this is totally different from each other. Uh, and, uh, I cannot, I can't, yeah, I, I cannot describe how many ways they are different. They are just hugely different from each other. Uh, uh, it's, it's, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. So I think maybe. Maybe Neil Bomb is much more uh, futuristic uh, in some sense because it's not it's even today. I think people, it's not, if you're not if you're not an extreme hardcore fan of heavy metal music or industrial metal, like for example, Ministry, 
strong uh, you probably will not understand and get nail bombs because we have stevini yeah, this is a very different kind of yeah it's, it's, yeah it's even hard to describe if if that, what kind of music nail bomb is really this if they are really <laughs> it's, it's very different uh, yeah, that's, uh, from, I think uh, everything I really want to say. Uh, look up Nail Bomb, then absolutely look up Kill Over Kill and other bands. Then you understand the differences. And you, uh, then you can uh, get your own mind how you want to describe Nail Bomb. And you can hear. Hope you like this video. Yeah, bye.